RNA antenna presented by Dr. K. Srinivasulu. So what is the RNA antenna? How it is working? So here first we'll see the what is the RNA antenna. A RNA antenna or microwave RNA is an antenna that consists of a flaring metal waveguide shape like a RNA to direct radio waves in a B. Arms are widely used as antennas at UHF and microwave frequencies. So that means above 300 megahertz. A horn antenna is used to transmit radio waves from a waveguide. A metal pipe used to carry radio waves out into space or collect radio waves into a waveguide for reception. What is history, what is the background of the horn antenna? One of the first horn antenna was constructed in 1987, 1897 by Indian radio researcher Jagadish Chandra Bose in his pioneering experiments with the microwaves. In the 1930s, the first experimental research South and Brow 1936 and a theoretical analysis borrow on 1939 of ARDS as antennas was done. The development of radar in the World War II stimulated horn research to design feed horns for radio radar antennas. Description. It typically consists of a short length of rectangular or a cylindrical metal tube, that means the waveguide, closed at one end, flaring into an open end, ended conical or pyramidal shape or an another end. The radio waves are usually introduced into the waveguide by a coaxial cable attached to the side with the central conductor projecting into the waveguide to form a quarter wave monopole antenna. So in general, in a waveguides, we are using the radio waves. That radio waves means consistent high frequency. That means 300 megahertz. So that type of signals are transmitted through the coaxial cable. That coaxial cable attached to the waveguide. So the waveguides are used only for high frequencies. So whenever high frequency signals are transmitted through the waveguide with the help of the coaxial cable. Next, the waves then radiate out the RN end in a narrow beam. So whenever the horn antenna radiates the waves in the free space at the end of the waveguide, it radiates the waves. So that are the narrow beam. In horns installed outdoors. That means horn antennas are connected to the waveguide. The horn antennas always installed outside of the waveguides, such as the feed horns of satellite dishes. The open mouth of the horn is often covered by a plastic sheet, which is transparent to the radio waves to keep out moisture. So here in this slide, so different RNA antennas are there. So this is the three different uh, antennas. Uh, I mean one antenna, but they are showing in a different angles. How it works the RNA antennas? A RNA antenna serves the same function for electromagnetic waves that an acoustical arm does for sound waves in a musical instrument such as trumpet. It provides a gradually transition structure to match the impedance. So here, impedance matching is very, very important. Impedance match is always maintained in the waveguides. So what is the impedance matching? The impedance matching means the input and output, these two are maintained frequency equal. So then only the signals are transmitted. 
So here, you know, uh, that means match the impedance of a tube to the impedance of the free space. Enabling the waves from the tube to radiate efficiently into space. This acts like an uh, impedance matching transformer. R antenna acts as a impedance matching of transformer. Impedance matching is very, very important. Allowing most of the wave energy to radiate out the end of the horn into space with minimal reflection. Next, the wide aperture of the horn projects the waves in a narrow beam. Radiation pattern of the horn antenna. So this is the radiation pattern of the horn antenna. Only one direction. Only one direction, the radiation pattern will be occur in horn antenna. So types of horn antennas. So these are the common types of horn antenna. Horns can have different flare angles as well as different expands curves. So that means elliptical, hyperbolic, etc. In the He field, that means electric field and H field, magnetic field directions making possible a wide variety of different beam profiles. Here, pyramidal horn, sectoral horn, conical horn, spatium horn, so pyramidal horn. So this diagram is belongs to the pyramidal horn. So he means electric field, H means magnetic field. So what is the pyramidal horn antenna? A horn antenna, which is the horn in the shape of four sided pyramid with a rectangular cross section so they are a common type used with uh, rectangular waveguides and uh, radiate linearly polarized radio waves linearly polarized radio waves that will happen in pyramidal horn antennas so that's the pyramidal horn antennas are very popular in waveguides next to uh, sectoral horn a pyramidal horn with only one pair of sides flared. And the, so here, one important point, flare means, so waveguides and uh, horn. So waveguide impedance is very small. So the type of signals are not transmitted in free space. Whenever horn is connected to the waveguide, so that horn is called the flaring. So whenever the waveguide impedance is very small, that signal is not transmitted in free space. So whenever flaring, that means horn is connected to the waveguide, then only you will generate the waves into free space. So that is called flaring. So that's the flaring is a very, very important factor in the horn antennas. Okay, it produces a fan-shaped beam which is narrow in the plane of the flared sides, but wide in the plane of the narrow sides. So he plane, he plane on B, a sectoral RN flared in the direction of electric or E field in the waveguide. C diagram, H plane horn C. A sectoral horn flared in the direction of the magnetic or H field in the waveguide. What is the conical horn? So this diagram belongs to the conical horn. What is the conical horn? <coughs> a conical, a horn in the shape of a cone with a circular cross section. They are used with the cylindrical waveguides. Spectrum horn, a horn which is divided into several sub horns by a metal partitions, spectrums, inside attached to opposite walls gain horn what is the gain of the horn antennas horns have a very little loss so the directivity of a horn is roughly equal to its gain the gain g of a pyramidal horn antenna capital g equal to 4 pi a divided lambda square epsilon a that is the formula for finding of the gain in horn antennas. Okay, so where A is, is the area of the aperture, lambda is the wavelength, 
epsilon a is the dimensionless parameter between 0 and 1 called the aperture efficiency so for finding of the gain so you are always using this formula g is equal to 4 pi a divided lambda square into epsilon a very very important formula for finding of the gain in ordinary antenna say either pyramidal and or conical uh, sectoral whatever may be but this is the common formula for finding of the gain of the RNA antennas. Okay, next. Advantage. An advantage of horn antennas is that uh, since they do not have any resonant elements, they can operate over a wide range of frequencies, a wide bandwidth. Next. The usual bandwidth of RNA antennas is typically of the order of 10 is to 1 and can be up to 20 to 1 for example allowing it to operate from 1 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz the gain of RNA antennas ranges up to 25 dBA with 10 to 20 dBA being typical moderate directivity gain low SWAR standing wave ratio broad bandwidth and a simple construction and uh, adjustment. Applications. They are used as a feeders called a feed, feed RNs for a larger antenna structure such as a parabolic antennas as directive, directive antennas for such a device as a radar guns, automatic door openers and microwave radiometers. Next application, a common element of a phased arrays. Next, used in the calibration, other high gain antennas. Used for making electromagnetic interference measurements. Thank you for watching this video.